In post-war Japan, four brothers banded together to invent the world's first compact, fully electric calculator. Over the next two decades, they would rapidly expand their product roster and their reach across the globe, going from a small Japanese electronics manufacturer to a multinational corporation and household name. From keyboards to calculators, this is the story of how four brothers created the Casio Computer Company. As the Second World War came to an official close and the dust began to settle on a world far different from the one it had been just a few short years ago, civilization emerged anew. With the minds of the world finally turned away from military matters and the impending sense of doom receding, innovation found its way back into society through daring creative individuals. From the ashes, Casio was born. Tadao Kashio was born on the 26th of November 1917 in Nagaoka district Kureta village, located in the Kochi prefecture of Japan. He was the first child of Shigeri Kashio, who would go on to have three more sons by the 1930s. Toshio Kazuo and Yukio Kashio, Tadao's younger brothers who would eventually become his business partners. Early in life, the family relocated to Tokyo where Tadao would go on to attend Waseda Engineering School which stands today as Waseda University. There, he would develop the skills needed to realize his ambition of manufacturing technology. Tadao started out his professional career as a lathe operator, and while the job did have him working in a similar industry, he desired to be more than a machine operator. Rather, Tadao wanted to fabricate the technology of tomorrow, and he would go on to do just that. By the mid-1940s, Tadao had become an engineer specializing in fabrication technology. At the age of 29, with his years of experience in the industry and an innate passion for innovation, Tadao founded Kajio Seisekujo in April of 1946, just months after the end of World War II. Kajio Seisakujo operated as a manufacturer of microscope components. It was safe to say that initially business wasn't booming. They weren't on the verge of bankruptcy or anything like that, but Kajio Seisakujo was just another run-of-the-mill machine manufacturer in a sea of factories and workers. There was nothing to set them apart. Today, the Casio Computer Company continues to be run as a family business, just as it has been since its founding decades prior. Back then, when Casio Seisakujo was just starting out, family would ultimately be what propelled it to the top. At the time, Tadao's younger brother, Toshio, was working as a telephone technician at the Ministry of Communications. However, Toshio had always had bigger dreams. From the age of 12, when he first read Thomas Edison's biography, Toshio had dreamt of being an inventor, and by the mid-1940s decided to pursue his dreams full-time, and left his technician position to join his brother's company. Toshio's vision for the company was to break away from being a built-to-order manufacturer and instead invent his own products. This was a vision that the Casio brothers would achieve in spades, beginning with Toshio's first invention, the Yubiwa pipe. In the impoverished post-war Japan, a great many resources were scarce, including in this were cigarettes, which had become precious and therefore something that people did not want to waste. The Yubiwa pipe, which was essentially a ring with a cigarette holder and a pipe through which the wearer could inhale, allowed for users to smoke the entirety of a cigarette down to the very nub, making the most of each individual cigarette. The invention, which was as useful as it was convenient, seeing as it freed up the hands of smokers in addition to lowering waste, was a success. With the money made from their first invention, Tadao and Toshio, now joined by the two remaining Kajio brothers, Kazuo and Yukio, set their sights on a much more ambitious project, inventing a fully electric compact calculator. At the time, calculators, also known as adding machines, worked primarily by the use of gears and were operated via a hand crank or motor. Toshio, with his knowledge on electronics and passion for invention, set out to create a calculator using solenoids, a type of electromagnet. In contrast to the Casio's first invention, producing an all-electric calculator took a lot more time than making a wearable cigarette holder. In fact, the process would take seven whole years, during which the brothers would balance their innovative process with maintaining the portion of the business that manufactured microscope parts so that they wouldn't run out of money. In 1953, the Casios came to the realization that solenoids weren't suited to mass production, which they would want to do with their completed product. 
So six years into the development of their solenoid calculator, the brothers switched gears to utilize relay technology instead. Fortunately, it wouldn't take half a dozen more years for them to complete their calculator, and in 1954, after seven years in development, the Casio brothers completed the Casio 14A, an all-electric calculator capable of solving problems up to 14 digits long. Although it was just a prototype at the time, the Casio 14A is considered the world's first compact all-electric calculator. It is also fun to note that the definition of compact in the 1950s meant that the calculator was still the size of a writing desk, and it was impressive that it didn't take up the whole room. Despite its size, the Casio 14A was the peak of calculator technology of the 50s in a number of ways, not limited to its adoption of the 10-key number pad, straying away from the full keypads of its contemporaries. Another key difference was its use of a single display window which showcased the answer and both arguments of a problem without the need for three separate windows. The time and effort spent developing the calculator would be well worth it after seven years and the blood, sweat, and tears of four brothers. The company finally began to take off. Instead of a little electronics manufacturer producing microscope components, Casio was suddenly at the cutting edge of calculator technology. The Casio 14A went into production in June 1957. That same month, the four Casio brothers banded together and restructured Casio Seisakujo, forming the Casio Computer Company, a name that paid ode to their family name while possessing a sound that would be more familiar to a global population. Casio calculators were a massive success that allowed the brothers to focus the efforts of the company entirely on electrical products. In addition to producing calculators, the company began producing electrical computer components. As the years went by and calculator and computer technology continued to improve, Casio went right up with the trends, making continuous innovations which were huge hits in the market and allowed Casio to go international. By the 1970s, the Casio name had become synonymous with calculators international and they even began developing wrist calculators, which could be worn by users. While that specific invention never quite caught on, wristwear did become a mainstay of the Casio brand. In 1974, they released the Casiotron, a digital wristwatch that would kickstart the most profitable segment of the company that today is responsible for half of all Casio sales, Casio watches. The company would go on to become one of the world's first companies to manufacture quartz watches, in addition to introducing the first mass-produced digital watches. In the 1980s, Casio branched out once again to enter the music business, specifically by producing affordable keyboards targeted at consumers who have an interest in learning the piano but don't want to shell out the funds needed for a traditional instrument. Their first foray into musical instruments, the Casio Tone 201, was a huge success, and by the end of the 1980s, over half of all electronic instruments sold in the United States of America had been sold by Casio. The company has continued to produce instruments ever since. Casio has continued to explore new markets and innovate beyond them in the years since. From the world of digital cameras, where the company produced the first ever consumer digital camera that had a liquid crystal display or LCD on the back to system equipment where they produce anything from data projectors to cash registers. Casio makes pretty much everything. If it's electronic, Casio can probably produce it and they probably already do. That has led to the Casio Computer Company as we know it today, a billion-dollar empire that's still run by the Casio family. Currently headed by Tadao's nephew, Kazuhiro Casio, Casio has continued to invent, innovate, and help students around the world calculate the answer to any math problem they may be presented with.